right, ladies and gentlemen, things are happening. They have a 15-second countdown, and here we go. Press the button. They're not pressing the it's button. It's muted, isn't it? <laughs> Five. I am good at production. Quang. Ah, yes. He's not a very good shot with that, is he? No, but I imagine the trailer would be a lot shorter otherwise. Ah, oh, we Mass Effect now. Okay. We Unreal Tournament now, apparently. Mm. Oh, it's that guy from Quake 3 with the guy and the face thing. Yes, him. Now, if you'll excuse the pun, the aftershocks can still be felt to this day. About three Wait, people in the audience get that. He <laughs> seems like a sentient Wait, robot. Two. I'm going to be honest. I think... Are we going to see some gameplay? Because that will be wonderful. No, we do get a logo, though. That's cool. With amazing graphics running at 120 hertz with unlocked frame rates. Ooh, ooh, yes. they touched the magic button. It's, it's nice. You're I'm feeling a bit tingly. Mm. Oh, but uh, only 120 hertz? <laughs> Class-based multiplayer. Class-based multiplayer. <laughs> That's going to be the thing for the next few years, isn't it? But we have a token female, so we're diverse. Hey, there was plenty of females. There was also a bloody eyeball. They had everything. World-class Everything. Everything. Every level. But only 120 hertz. Only 120 hertz, though. Oh. Willing to test their skills. Oh. Bethesda's global breast vice president of PR and marketing. You're getting fired. Pete Hines. <laughs> Bethesda's global breast. <laughs> Allow me to fondle Bethesda's global breast. <laughs> Not very spherical, Consensually fondle are they? Bethesda's global breast. Oh, Thank my. You. But we're, right now, we're not at QuakeCon, we're at E3, the biggest week in gaming. It's like, oh god, oh god we're at why? E3. E3. It's oh. day zero. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It's actually day minus one. My, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Also, they appear to be in a holodeck, which is pretty cool. We plan the showcase just like we make all of our games it for sounds you. Sounds like he's already annoyed with us. Showcase kicked like, off he knows we're snarking about him. Bethesda, one of the biggest. I mean, I'd be annoyed with us if I was listening to our bullshit. So Stop cheering Fallout Shelter. It's a we cash vampire. Shelter. It's the not even a real game. game. And winner of multiple Mobile Game of the Year awards. Which By I think is way. very, very telling as to the state of the in mobile November, market. Creating and sharing mods using Snap Map. Except they haven't been sharing mods because you don't have bloody mod support, you lying bastard. Started off hot, I see. Yeah. To be fair, I played this and it's actually great. It's really good. The story is told from the perspective of a moth priest named Kellen. A like, moth I priest. I, I don't know much about the Elder Scrolls lore, but a moth what? priest is not a word that I ever thought would ever be said by a human tongue. The Elder Scrolls show us what was. Nah, it was just an This owl, owl is on fire! He <laughs> eats as well as you have coin. Yeah. And well, then it died. That was not our fault. Nope. Look at that. 59.94 frames per second. Stream. Disgusting. Locked your stream. It, interlaced. Interlaced. Ooh. What is this? Ooh. 2001. There you go. Well done. We can still see your frame rate. <laughs> we can still see and your it's resolution. So par, he says as he runs his stream at 30. Well, we learned nothing, as per usual. To be fair, I've already played the game, so... Uh, card upgrades uh, is interesting. I'm not sure I'm, like, 100% so keen far, on that idea. I've seen it, like, running to the ground in mobile terrific. games. Like Clash Royale, for instance. Uh, yeah, because help. You, don't, you don't play please, enough of that. Please, please help me. I can't get away from it. And Android tablets and phones later this year. Because we want all your money. That sounds good to me. I like being able to play on the toilet. As I said, I'm very excited about Legends uh, as it brings what? together... A biggest letdown. To have ever. Like you. See it what you've it was not what I was hoping for. I'm going to need more dialogue options in order to explain to you my incredible. disappointment of this game. No, well, no, you only have four. Yes, no, maybe, and Fallout investigate. You know, when I thought of Fallout, this was not what I had in mind. No, not, not, not so much. Not especially. New Vegas again, anyone? I, I wouldn't mind. That would be nice. Yeah. I like the fact that it's like, hey, we already had a game about building your own vault. It wasn't very good. Um, so at let's least try it again. You see, this one actually has experimentation cool. on dwellers. That's cool, though. Look, that's, like, literally, that... that's literally what we thought Fallout Shelter was going to be. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. actually what we hoped that would be. Yeah. No, that that's... I kind of want that. I I think Fallout's got a little silly. I don't know. It has. 
Not that Fallout was ever not silly. Fallout shelter. And it was terrible. It started out okay, and then it was buggy. I can't. It's also not a game. Like, after the first day or so, you realize there's literally nothing to do. They have updated it a little bit. I will give them credit for that, but there's so little actual gameplay in it. PC version. Thank right, you. So they're adding gameplay. They're adding gameplay, no, and then after a year, it's going to be released. Okay. All right. Hey, I got to practice what I preach. I said, hey, you know, it's not okay to say that it's too little, too late. I would I'll come back. Yeah, I'll I will, give it a try. I will definitely try it when it comes out on there PC. It's just though, every time I try to play on iOS, it just. Oh. Buy our remaster. It'll now look almost as good as a mid-range PC. Almost. Well, maybe not. Steal mods from PC users and re-upload them under your own name. And rate them one star because you're a dick. I'm not sure why people are so happy about that. It's like, yeah! yeah. Wait, haven't you already played what? that? I'm very excited to be here tonight on behalf of Arcane Studios, the makers of Dishonored. We don't mention Dark Messiah. <laughs> no, we don't. Dark Messiah was great. Is Buggy is crap, but great. His office, there is no duration set for this meeting. That is a lot of body hair. To green light Rendering this coffee cost us $60,000. That's a nice fucking kitchen. Like, what is it with E3 and nice kitchens? Interesting. I can see you won't be playing this game. Oh, no, I, I, are you kidding me? It's by Arcane. I'm all in on it. I don't care. You don't like slightly scary things. I will deal. Oh, God, that's wow. Prey too. Wow. That doesn't look anything like, like the original it. Prey. No. In any way, shape, or form. In Prey. Oh, it's Prey. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You can't just do that. You're not allowed to just reboot the name of you something. Can. Like, you no, can. It's been long enough. No, we already have Prey. It's been long Don't enough. Don't try to hide it from me. I know that game exists. You can't no. just call it Prey again. No, you can't. You're not allowed. It's been too long. It hasn't. I'm sorry, I'm not okay with them just rebooting the name of that. Oh, be quiet. Well, I guess I'll see you later. No, because it's multiplayer map DLC, which is a terrible idea. You see, this is what in wrestling we call the cooler match. Yeah, it is. It, this is the match that you put in the middle that nobody cares about, where people get to, go you know, go to, the go to the toilet, basically. Yeah. I, I like how someone was screaming. I just envisioned them running from the room. The Elder Scrolls Online! Oh, God, no! What's been happening with the Elder Scrolls Online? From the console. Uh, <laughs> hell yes! The, oh my the, god! There's a tiny gnome hidden behind the stage that just said that. Elder Scrolls, yes! Never do that voice again. Where is she? Find her. I know, right? And our player community. Oh my god, hell yeah! Please stop! It was. God! I am telling you, she must be like his wife. It's possible. I mean, that's cool. Coming here to support your husband is a really awesome thing. I just, I value my ears. That's an extremely impractical knife. Yeah. Oh my god, it ain't so crazy. Please stop. We weren't expecting that, were you? We were hopeful it wouldn't happen, but unfortunately, you've let us down once again. What you feel when you put on a headset and play the latest uh, AAA games in the industry. Um, nausea is the answer to that, unfortunately. There's no way I could play Doom on VR. You know, trust me, as someone that owns both the major headsets, there are some serious issues with movement when it comes to that. Doom is fast. Like, I would feel unbelievably sick playing that on VR. And if they've managed to solve this, good on them. That's amazing. Let's check in with Adam and Morgan to see what's happening and get an update on what they have planned. Adam, Morgan, what do you have for us? Thanks, Pete. Now, we are here at BE3+, Plus, and this is sort of this experience that you we guys... We are here see, outside uh, of the venue, not showing you video games. There's nobody there. Why are you even showing us this? That is very silly. Check out these giant posters. Look at that. Look at these trailers running in the background that we've already seen reflecting so beautifully off the top of Adam Sessler's head. You could say we've been in stealth mode. Oh, God. oh what? Boo, Boo, this man! That is the worst typewriter I've ever seen. Even the food and songs. I don't see no food, I don't hear no songs. They've got some really nice boxes, though. Stop. Oh, God, it's the Trade Both Federation. We want the environment to feel coherent and complete, plausible. Where do these characters live? And Wait a second! A he had two Ace of Spades in his hand. He's cheating. Nefarious targets. Nefarious, damn it. Nefarious was a raid boss. UI for the first time no, in E3 no, 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 history. No. Like, I knew we were actually in it because it even had a skip button and everything. They need to work in that field of view. 
Don't look at me like that. He shot him in the butt. That's perfect. What? Why would you not do that? It, it certainly looks very clunky, but I have to appreciate the fact that... Done. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, bear in mind, I'll take clunky oh, and not, not done anything. yet over this is a lie. This is already better than the EA conference by a mile. Well, you know, it's also a point that a lot of what we usually see at E3 is a lie. Yeah. You know, it's not e this it's is not representative. Gameplay. This is actual gameplay. It's actual gameplay that isn't we're, done we're yet, and I can appreciate that. Oh, here we go, oh, Weapon Wheels again. It looks exactly like what I was hoping for from another Dishonored game. Uh, it's not completely changing the formula. In fact, it seems like it it's barely... It to. It's not it changing the formula to. at all, really. Uh, it just needs to be different place, different time, different people. Several All credit to Bethesda here. Start, Compared to what we saw earlier today, this is fair, fairly minimal fluff yeah. for a conference. This is how I hoped all conferences would become. And, even time and they didn't. Are you ready for Just Dance 5? No. No, I'm not. No one is ever ready for Just Dance 5. Years into the past, when the manor was still inhabited and oh, guarded. Oh, it's got literal time travel in it. Um, cool. Really cool. This, this kind of reminds me of, uh, you remember Soul Reaver, where you were traveling between the spirit realm and the real realm? Yeah. Well, here they're just doing it with time. Looking through what the lenses a of the outsider's time piece. fucking cool, cool that idea. That's cool that you see it in the timepiece. This that's, is useful for solving that's, puzzles, as you've that's seen. That's cool. But it can that also be used to avoid is... or take down enemies. That's phenomenal. I get maybe it's a bit gimmicky, but I like it. I don't care. I don't care if that's a bit gimmicky. Again, this has kind of been done before with stuff like Soul Reaver in a different way, but yeah, I will take it. I like it. it. I think it's an, oh, that's an awesome idea. I'll take back what I said that it's more of the same. It plainly isn't. I like him. He's no fluff. He, he really is. Like, he's a nerd. He's a, just a big nerd, and I appreciate that about him. He was same. the same last year as well. Can I please have another round of applause for the very shy and took off Harvey Smith? Oh, very shy I, indeed. Hey, screw that. That and guy is straight good. talking. Videos, he just loves they video games. I'll now. take him over any other presenter any day of the week. Thank you very much. That was great. So, from... <laughs> we can tell how excited he is. Maybe not the best way to end your conference by saying he's a free t-shirt get out. Oh, yeah, that was really great. Uh, t-shirts, guys. Let's talk about t-shirts for a while. Uh, all right, there we go. That, by the looks of it, was Bethesda. No Wolfenstein announcement, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed by that, but, you know, from the looks of it, with Quake, it's going to already be a really busy year for them. I wonder how they're going to launch that. I mean, that's the sort of thing that sounds like it's going to going to be free to play yeah. i you know there we go and that is the end of that by the looks of it uh, sort of a, a slightly anti-climb end yeah well, very, well i mean that, that that would be bethesda in a nutshell right yeah, a slightly would. janky something you know we'll clean so, it up in post uh we'll, we'll fix it at some point let's let's have some uh, bethesda music in the background there we go this will uh this yeah lovely in it lovely <laughs> jabbly that's what we like to see <laughs> all right we can uh, close out the stream there uh, certainly a, a much better conference than EA's, no doubt about that. Uh, certainly some interesting stuff in there. A little bit disappointed not to hear anything about a potential Wolfenstein sequel. I think Wolfie was phenomenal. Yes. Uh, absolutely great It was game. my game of the year. It was my game of the year too, as it happened to, uh, in 2004, 15? Yeah. 15, 14, 14. Definitely 14. Yes, just getting that right. Yeah, it felt, Completely felt like... gritty. Just everything mm. that you wanted it to be. Very yeah. fulfilling. I'm excited to see what's going on with Prey, though. Yeah. I, that is interesting. It's weird that they would it take... It did not look like Prey. No, it, not, it looks nothing like Prey I don't, whatsoever. I don't think it's going to feel so no, much anything like Prey. I, I think... Why do, Why even call it that? That That's the weird thing. Why even call it that? It'll because, be the same thing with Thief. I guarantee you people are going to But it's got no like, association, yeah, as far yeah, as yeah. I can tell, with it whatsoever. It, but bear in mind, the original Prey was a Native American-themed sci-fi shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with teleportation, maybe this isn't even related. Do you and think about portals. that? Do you think? Do you think about that? Like maybe it's just not even related. I don't at think it's all. related in any way. Yeah. But that's why it's weird that they call it Prey. It's not like Prey was a strong IP to base another game on, unless you were gonna just straight up call it Prey Two and continue with the Native American themes and the the portal mechanics and things like that. This seems like it's something completely and utterly well, I mean, different. The the concept is still there though. You you is are it? Prey. Well, yes and and no. We don't really know. I know it has that big psychological and weird 
element to well, it. I'm consider. I'm, I'm very much thinking that you know, hey, aliens, you know, you're probably in their space. I'm gonna. Assume I don't know if it's aliens. I mean, they, they were talking about experimentation, all sorts of things like that. Who knows if it had anything to do with aliens at all? Hmm. I I couldn't tell you. It obviously looked like it, but the, the trailer can be very deceiving. Obviously, I'm intrigued by the it. The trailer did what it was supposed to do, which was intrigue. Intrigue. Yeah. It yeah. Ju- it just Definitely completely confuses me why you would call that prey. As, you know, there's already a game called that. I know it's been taken off every digital distribution platform known to man. Every name for everything has already been taken. Let's face that. I, I'm pretty sure they come up with something else. Outside of that, obviously, you know, Else Goes Online stuff, it's necessary to have it in a conference. Ooh, it, fuck yeah! It, it, put, put the screeching gnome to, to the side for the second. Uh, you know, it's fine. It, it's not something that we care about, but obviously you're going to mention it. Legends... It's strange to sort of really talk about that. I, I What I do like, though, is that they're emphasizing that it is actually story-driven. It does have, like, a legitimate single-player campaign. Moth Priest. Moth Priest. Well, that, Moth that's priest. that's apparently the thing. It, I don't know much about Elder Scrolls lore, I'll admit. Having you know, spent a huge amount of time with Oblivion, I still have no that idea. That girl could tell you. I'm the, sure the... she could. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if she'd be able to do so through the screeching, but I, one way or the other... It's cool that they emphasize that aspect because when they showed it at PAX, they really didn't emphasize that. It was just like, hey, here's another card game. Well, yeah, I mean, it was showing the 1v1 gameplay, which I was obviously interested in. The fact that there's story. Yeah, there's a legitimate story. There's a legitimate campaign. That's something that a lot of other games in that genre don't have. So I dig that. The Fallout stuff was pretty underwhelming until they showed what was basically what I thought Fallout Shelter should have been. Should have been, right. And I'm, I'm, I'm very much intrigued by that, too. The problem is you have to play Fallout 4 in order to get to that, though. Yeah. The amount of, mat- Whoa. The amount of materials you're probably going to have to build up in order to create a vault or but something along those lines. But at least then is- I would sort of have a goal. I don't know why, but it just felt without dialogue options that I really didn't have a goal that I felt was fulfilling. And I don't know why, but I feel like building stuff you know running my own you know thing that would be fun like that would be a goal for that, me. that, that would be something to work toward i don't true know i mean it is a goal certainly the, the thing is that i i've never really played fallout for anything like that that's a very sort of minecraft-esque sort of thing it's a very modern hey survival sandboxy kind yeah, of and, aspect and to would it would it be fair to say that you typically don't spend a lot of time i mean i'm not saying that you don't play them but let's just say a lot of extra time playing open world sandbox no, type it, games. No, because they're giant time sinks in many right, ways. And you and don't usually have the time to dedicate to that. It I mean. also comes down to quality per hour, you know? It, and something Fall, Fallout 4 I had a big problem with in terms of quality per hour because they took away a lot of what I found interesting about the Fallout universe. The, uh, the conversations, the strange characters, the different ways to solve things, the very stat oriented gameplay. Mm. Being able to build a character who's completely inept at combat but solve things through through uh, science or solve things through trickery and sneaking or just talking people out of things. That wasn't something that you could really do in Fallout 4. They they emphasized the gunplay, and I appreciate that they improved the gunplay, but they did it at the expense of all the other things I liked about Fallout. Which... Oh, yeah, and I mean, it, it ruined, for me, literally the franchise, I think, playing Fallout 4. Well, yeah, I mean, you didn't like it. I know that. I, uh, I got 15 minutes into it, and I was like, what the 15 shit minutes? Is well, this? That's a, they maybe should have played it a little longer than that. No, but... no, no. I mean, I went back and I gave it, I tried yeah, to yeah. give it more time and everything, but mm-hmm. I'm just saying, initially, I was just like, Am I playing the right game? I mean, the aesthetic looks right. But it looks I, like Fallout. It, it smells like, like Fallout, but, but it didn't taste like yeah, Fallout. Yeah, no, does it, it? it ain't devved like mm. Fallout. Yeah, it, it almost makes me think that that whole shelter building thing, the vault building thing, should be a separate game. Like Fallout Shelter, for instance. Although, I will no. admit that, you know, them showing the fact that they're adding questing and they're revamping the combat system, which the game didn't really have a combat system. Yeah. You know, you, you just kind of, you could drop people in with guns and they just shot away and. I'm glad things. they're bringing it to PC. I, I don't know if I am. I'm not sure how much of it I'll play on PC, but I will say that it will make controlling it a hell of a lot easier because yes, holy crap, the amount of zooming yes. and grabbing, it's like, these guys are tiny. What the hell? It looks like it's going to have some real actual gameplay well, in it. It's the and- option. There are people who, who really are just completely hard hard against not having like any eye device or anything like that so. yeah well, it, it, it makes sense to bring a fallout game to pc not having it on pc is a little ridiculous considering where the actual game originated yes. but it looks like they're improving it and as i i've said before you know that it's ne- there's never too late to bring somebody back to a game like that uh, i i would be willing to give it another try once they add that new combat in i imagine that hopefully gonna let you link your accounts because i certainly don't want to start again i played a bunch of 
that well for like a week and then just got utterly sick of it it would for be obvious nice reasons. but i don't i wouldn't bank on it uh considering it's an eye device no i would no. not bank on that no absolutely not uh incidentally there was just an announcement that the uh the, the skyrim at, at remastered edition is going to be upgraded. If you own Skyrim and all its add-ons or the Legendary Edition, you upgrade to Skyrim Special Edition for free on October the 28th. That's on PC. So if you're on console, you gotta buy it. That's unfortunate. Maybe <laughs> don't play games on console anymore. Obviously, PCs are better... Uh, business proposition for you, as it were. Do... Uh, not Doom, sorry. I, I, I was Actually, let's, let's talk about Doom for a second. I, I love the fact that they are improving Snap Map. I have played around quite a lot with Snap Map. It is very limited. It's very, it's quite complex to make it do anything kind of cool. You know, I I was able to create a basic currency system and things like that. And, but there is, there's a lot missing from Snap Map. But it's less about what you can actually access in that game and more about what you are able to create and the limitations it has. Because you can't create a huge map with a bunch of demons that spawn at the same time because it breaks the consoles. So they limit you, which is a real shame. I want to fight 200 caco demons at the same time. Do you? you? Can't, yeah, do I'm, you really? I would love to, but you're not allowed to do that. It, it doesn't let you do it. It very much limits the number of things that you can spawn at any given time. So uh, that, that that is, at least the, in my eyes, very unfortunate. I hey, like the idea that they're going to try from and bring Prey, it up by VR. the way. That's a... Uh, that this is some prey music, but apparently prey doesn't exist anymore. There we go. So yeah, the VR stuff. I like the idea that they're. I love going the to idea, but how the hell are they going to do it? I think they need to slow it down. But the thing is, it's like people like you are going to complain about the frame rate, and people like you are going to complain about about it not being like a true representation of the actual game thrown into a headset at that point. Well, I mean, it really comes down. I think to... it needs to be slowed down for actual human consumption it's it, it slowing it down won't really help though that that's the real problem no, but it, i mean adjusting for human reaction time i think is important to some degree but th there is an issue with just any kind of first person game in which you're not moving inside a cockpit is inherently nausea inducing now it causes nausea because of the disconnect between your brain and what you're actually doing it, this is why a lot of like the room scale games are either kind of on a platform where with very limited movement or they use a sort of teleportation technique uh, for instance the um the version of uh, the vr version of solace project that just came out which is a first person sort of in space survival game you've got three methods of movement and one of them it literally warns you if you use this method of movement it may very well cause you to uh, to uh, to induce nausea you know, mm. to make you motion sick, which is why they give you an alternative movement method, which is teleportation. So you point and move. Uh, Vanishing Realms is the same on VR, where you'll point and teleport, point and teleport. And your brain's okay with that. Your brain can handle teleportation. It can't handle the you know, the regular movement. So I don't know how that's going to work. I really don't. Not to mention, by the way, not to mention that Fallout 4 is, like, without breaking, is capped at 60 FPS, and VR is supposed to run at 90. So I, I, I don't know if they fixed that. Maybe they have? Just upscale. Ugh. Uh, yeah, I mean, there isn't a degree of interpolation that you can do with that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, the, the, I suppose the final thing to talk about, other than the, the lack of Wolfenstein, bear in mind, it was teased in the in the little DOS prompt that they had. Yeah. DIR. I remember that. You remember DIR space slash W to get in a slightly better loadout? A better sort of layout? That was, that was kind of cool. Also, I don't know what New Colossus is all about. I wonder if... I want, if that's if that's another expansion for New Order, I'll be very very happy about that. But they they did uh, they kind of teasing it. But dates. if you look at the re if you look at the yeah. release date here, you see Commander Keen Wolf 3D. I'm looking at a, a kind of screenshot of the prompts here, and then you've got New Colossus after Old Blood, which is just a bunch of stars. So they are teasing, I think, another maybe standalone expansion for Wolfenstein, yeah. which I would be very happy with. Absolutely, no doubt about that. Uh, what else? The last thing I suppose would be Quake Champions. It was sounding all. It was sounding pretty cool to me. Although again, I was looking forward to a, a single player Quake. Honestly, the one thing that I. I don't think you're the only one. I no. Just, I feel like they know where their bread and butter is when it comes to Quake. That's held up over the years. Yes. I mean, Quake Live is still around. Quake yes, 3 Arena, it is. you know, it will basically never die. I think no, in terms no, of it, it uh, being a, just an incredibly well balanced game. But as soon as I heard 
these they have different abilities. Basically, it's yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no, Overwatch has done Overwatch, this to Overwatch, us, yes. man. Everything now has to have class. Unique abilities. Heroes, you yes. know. I mean, he literally used the word heroes at one point. I I don't know about that. I'm willing to try it out. I I would dig a very arena focused shooter with a, with arena arena speed. You know, old Quake speed, but throw in a couple of class abilities. I wouldn't hate that. Although it does take away some element of the skill from the game, no doubt. Yeah, you know? I, I miss, like, just how simple. I, I Is it wrong to say simple? Simple it's not yet wrong. complex. It, you know? It's not wrong to say that at all, because I, I, I think that's kind of exactly what it was. But I wonder if you can even improve on that. You know, Quake Live is pretty much like almost the perfect arena shooter right there's and not really like, what could you do what else could I, you do what, i don't what could you add i don't know what else you could add to and that so i guess that's their dilemma as well and that's what they needed to to do with it yeah it, it may very well have had something to do with that but yeah I, I overall pretty pretty cool obviously dishonored 2 looks really good great obviously jank in many ways but it's not done yet and that's fine i, I think like the idea like the story I mean, I'm less concerned about the story and more about the mechanics. I love that uh, the time-shifting thing seems yeah. incredible. I'm looking forward to playing around with that. I think if that is a Corvo-specific ability and it's not an Emily, I, I think I'll be playing are, Corvo. I, I believe that they are um, character-specific abilities because Possibly, it, yeah. they referenced many times, like, you know, Emily's ability to do this and Corvo's ability to do that. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It, it was a good show overall. I... I don't think there was a lot missing. Sort of, you know, ended on a bit of a whimper with, hey, here's some t-shirts, but not not too bad at all. I'm intrigued by Prey. Obviously, I've been looking forward to Elder Scrolls Legends for a while because as a, I've played the card game. I think it's a good card game. It's fun. I like my card games, no doubt about that. The Dishonored footage looked great. I'm intrigued to see what they do with Quake Champions. I'm a little nervous about what they're going to do with Quake Champions in the current environment. I think esports could uh, very well tear them apart if maybe, it's not maybe. good. <laughs> well, yeah, but I the mean, pressure. I, the question is, would a traditional arena shooter still be viable in 2016? Will people actually still buy into that? I'd like to think they would. I would hope they would. I I would really hope they would. Maybe. I think there are a lot of hardcore ex Quake fans out there, or still current that Quake are all currently that, playing Overwatch. <laughs> right, and will definitely drop all of that to go and play this. Yeah, that they, they might. They they very well might. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah, we saw some very interesting things there. So thanks, Bethesda, for not boring us to death. We definitely appreciate that, especially after what we had to go through earlier. Ladies and gents, thanks for staying up so long. We had you know, over 26,000 concurrent people watching at this time of night. I mean, God's sake, you know, it's almost midnight. So the Europeans are obviously asleep. We very much appreciate your support today. It's been awesome. Like, way more people tuned in than I expected. So thank you very much for that. We've got four more of these tomorrow. We We're going to die. We're going to die. <laughs> Congratulations to Bethesda for showing things that looked kind of interesting. We'll see what happens tomorrow. The big guys are bringing out the big guns. Both Microsoft with its many leaked things, including its slim, we look like PlayStation now Xbox. And of course, Sony has a tendency to bring some interesting stuff and to be very long-winded. Like their conference is usually about three hours. So. An introduction of an introduction of an introduction because occasion. Mmm, yes, something along those lines. Can't wait to see what the catchphrase is for this year, but there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the Cynical Brit Snarkathon with myself and Jenna. That was the Bethesda Conferences. The Supercut for the EA Conference is already available on youtube.com slash cynical Brit. So go and watch that. We cut out, I don't know why you call the best moments, but they're moments. Let's just put it that way. They are, they are moments and the post-show complain fest is also in there as well. It's going to take me a while to get the rest of these cut up. I'm going to try my best to get that done before chemo on Wednesday. If I don't, my apologies. You'll be able to see it later. Of course, if you subscribe to the channel, you can watch all the uncut VODs right now. Available right now here on twitch.tv slash TotalBiscuit. Big thanks for tuning in and your support today. We will see you tomorrow. The first conference, I believe, will be... I'm just going to double check this, make sure I don't get it bloody wrong. Where, tell me where is the list? We have too much stuff on here. It is in the sidebar of our new official subreddit. Yeah, because that's where I put it. Thank you for that. Two thir no, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. You can read. I can, sometimes. 12.30 p.m. Eastern, that is 9.30 Pacific. That would be at 5.30 in the British Isles, 6.30 Central European time. Damn, I'm good at time zones. Yeah, I did that on my head. Yeah. On it. Not in it. On it. Impressive, isn't it? 
Microsoft Conference, followed by PC Gaming Show, followed by Ubisoft, followed by Sony, followed by us passing, passing out. out. Good night. Good night.